Hello, so today I thought I would do three steps to manifesting your dream reality and I thought I would talk about three things that have personally worked for me. So, uh, this is Tiamat's Tarot by the way. I'm saying the wrong thing, I was just doing another recording. Oh, I'm not even going to edit this because, yeah, whatever, whatever. So, this is Talks with Tiamat because Tiamat likes to talk a lot. Um, it's Lionsgate today and it's the new moon so I am doing a lot which I guess is kind of the opposite of what I should be doing but I guess I've been doing manifestations and rituals so that's one of the reasons why I wanted to actually speak with you about the things that I have been doing um, and the way to really manifest your dream reality because these things have actually worked for me and I would like to share them with you. So the first thing um, is to follow your intuition. Now this involves things like if you feel called to going somewhere at a random time of the day doing that because you may be luckier than you realise. Um, it also looks like eating differently, eating more healthy randomly one time and just deciding to completely change up your diet or just go with whatever you feel called to going with. Or perhaps you may feel like you've got back pain and you need to go to the doctor or something like that. Or perhaps you feel like you need to invest in crypto cash, which is something that I did and was a really good idea. So I would also recommend that other people... No, don't listen to my advice but followed their intuition and invested in things when they felt called to invest into things so with that being said also your intuition may lead you towards things that you don't necessarily want to hear at first um, because when you first start out on your journey you will be probably close-minded towards certain experiences which is not only natural because we've been taught as humans to have an ego around things and to worry about certain circumstances and to not worry about other circumstances so going into step two i have personally used a lot of divination so this is my second tip would be to get into contact with any kind of spirit that you can it, whatever your religion is whatever your spiritual background is practice it because this will help you to manifest things because the more that you are in touch with the spirit realm which is the invisible realm the realm that you can't see the more that you will be able to receive gifts from it the more that you will be able to communicate with it the more that you help them out the more they will help you out as really so um i have personally used this a lot for manifesting um experiences with other people for um I've got to think, give me a moment, I'm not going to pause it, um, give me a moment, I dissociated, so, um, I've got to use divination, I'm going to leave my videos unedited because I feel like it's more natural and it's more raw and it's less fake and it's not like news and not like TV and it just shows you what real human beings do when they're talking and explaining things, so, and also if human beings have trauma or whatever what will happen when they think about things so anyway I was saying I have been using divination myself to so I use I've actually got some here I use tarot cards to see what is coming in the future um I believe that it tells me what is coming in the future yes I also use my third eye to see what is coming but that's my intuition which is going back to step number one I also will ask spirit for signs and for symbols and quite often I will receive those symbols with it very quickly within the time that I have asked for them. So I'm also right now currently seeing a 
210721. So this is a date and I thought that this may be important for some people. I know this is really random, but again, see, I'm getting in contact with my intuition and my divination. This may be important for some people because this is about family reunionship and a twin flame connection. So yeah. Anyway, so that may be what some people are manifesting for this current period. And this is actually saying that, yeah, you'll get that. But this is kind of random because this is going off of the divine feminine. The divine feminine isn't like the divine masculine who goes, right, this is going to be one, two, three. The divine feminine goes, okay, I'm going to tell a story and I'm going to loop back to here and I'm going to go in and out and da 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 so yeah now for number three I track my progress through gratitude I always say thank you to spirit for every sign that they send me I always thank myself for taking a moment to actually sit here and do a video and for well I try to but sometimes I don't remember to do that which I should be more honest and more kind to myself um, I often will thank Spirit after doing a tarot reading for giving me the guidance. I often just, when I close my candle, will just thank the guides that have come through for the candle and the protection that has been up. Um, and I thank myself for the energy that I put into myself and the way that I have changed in from the past. So it is important to thank yourself for that. And I thank the universe for sending such amazing beautiful material things and such amazing spiritual things because we truly live in such a rich abundant multiverse but this particular universe I think is one of the best ones out there because well this is the only universe where this is happening right and as much as uh, I do get my days where I think I would like to shift to another universe and things like that this really is the best universe that there is. I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with shifting because shifting helps you to get to your desired timeline. But what I am saying is it's important to remember that you've got things to be grateful for around you. So yeah, with that being said, I am actually going to finish today and Thank you for watching very much. Um, please like, subscribe and comment. Uh, see you soon. Bye.